I need to stop cuddling you and kissing you because this is going to be a very boring vlog if this is all we do, isn't it? Hmm? Yes, it is. <laughs> Sally. Sally. What are you doing? <laughs> come up here, come up here. I was literally setting up my um, tripod selfie stick thing <laughs> and she started doing that so I had to film it, it was so cute. Hello and welcome to Sally's little update vlog. Um, I know you guys don't like it when they disappear off the face of the earth. So she's having a little update vlog before she goes away on her break. So I'll come here, come in, come in to the camera a bit more. So. For those of you that haven't watched the uh, Sally's sale vlog, <laughs> this is Sally who's attacking me because she can smell a treat in my pocket. She's a three-year-old Welsh Section D. Um, we bought her, when were the sales? September sales, stop biting. Um, and yeah, she's a project that we bought three ways with Becky, so me, Mum and Becky all own a third of her. Um, so we've decided she's going to be turned away, like I've already said. I just think for three-year-olds, that's the best thing. I don't like it when three-year-olds do too much. So she's done little bits of hacking since we've had her. She was already broken, um, but you hadn't done much. I think she'd been... I can't remember how many times she'd been sat on. Four times, maybe? Three times? So you were broken. <laughs> she's so into everything so she's done a handful of hacks a little bit in the school but not schooling literally just like getting used to having a person on and hacked out you've been really good in traffic haven't you and then she's going to be turned away she's going to go <laughs> to becky's because becky's got some land and some stables um just to free up another stable here basically and then next year she's going to be brought back in she'll be four obviously <laughs> You're so bad. Um, and then we'll do some competing with her and do some dressage and stuff and just see what it is that she wants to do. Because obviously I event, but it doesn't mean that all of the project ponies have to event. So yeah, you'll see it coming up in these clips that we have lunged her over a fence. It's not really a fence. Um, she didn't show much promise, but then, to be fair, neither did Bear, and neither did Jam, and neither did Dee the first time they ever go over a fence. So, I'm not worried about that. But it might be that you're more dressage orientated, or even if you're just a really nice hack for someone, because she's so sweet and she's so easy on the roads. But yeah, in terms of her personality, as you can have seen, she's ever so friendly and she's sort of into absolutely everything. So come here, I'm talking about you now. Come here, good girl. She's basically a big Labrador. So her nickname is Labracob. Um, so if we can get that trending, you know, just refer to her as Labracob now, not Sally. <laughs> she just, just wants to know about everything and she's got super floppy ears. Boop, boop. But I'm not gonna say too much more because I am actually gonna be filming the Meet the Horses vlog today and I can see that being essentially the same Thing that I'm saying so I don't want to say loads here so enjoy a few clips of us getting her started you'll see at the start I take it very slowly getting on her and stuff because we were told that she had a bit of a problem with people getting on not problem but she just got a bit excited can you get off my shire's gilet this was gifted you naughty pony um yeah she just got a bit angsty with people getting on so we spent a bit of time doing that and yeah, there's a few clips of her hacking and stuff. You're so naughty. And then afterwards, uh, mum and I are gonna meet you inside and we're gonna quickly go through a bit of the Welsh sales catalog because 
that is coming up in a few weeks and this one hasn't put us off too much that we don't want to buy any more. So hopefully you can come along to that vlog and maybe buy some more of these Labracobs. You're so naughty. Okay, enjoy the clips and I will see you back afterwards. Yeah, we can't go around a dressage test like that, Sally. <laughs> yeah, inside flexion. <laughs> you like that? Good girl, Sal. Got that gate. It's always morning, but I said that I was going to do a little Sally update. So Becky has the lovely task of lunging her, and then I get thrown on her for a bit after. That's got a nice canter, isn't she? I mean, she's trotting now, but <laughs> when she does canter, it's nice. But yeah, I'll show a few clips of me riding her and a few lunging clips just to keep you guys in the loop. Got a hobbit there watching. Yeah. It's quite nice sat in the sun with a cup of tea. Yeah. How are we gonna loose jump in here? Put a gate on, we're grand. Well, what about that end bit? Someone stand there, loose jump them this way. <laughs> so Sally's got to learn to stand nicely. Mom's got her uh, child TV presenter voice on. In case I ever want to ride her. <laughs> one I prepared earlier. Good girl. She says I don't know about standing still. No, she says I've got this big lump leaning over me all the time. Do my head in. Oh and Becky I forgot to say I didn't tell you guys the other day but Steve said to me um oh hang on to her when you get on. 
probably high just words of wisdom they're from thrown Steve. on and that's it I forgot to share that little bit with you uh, you're Good better girl. off not knowing <laughs> he did say not that she would do anything but I think she obviously has been a bit of walkie it's around. Good on a go, isn't it? Yeah, I shouldn't think I spend hours. She's been a good girl. Oh, not note, but I'm no prisoners. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Thanks. Lovely. That was really good. Our only it's our second time on her today. Yeah, and we think this is only her seventh time she's been sat on, don't we? Oh, really? Is that it? Because yeah, Steve said that he'd only she'd only been sat on five times. Me. I didn't know that. And we, we think two yeah. of those were at sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once in the ring and once trotting around the car park. Exactly. You are a good pony. She's such a lovely young girl, isn't she? Yeah. She's so clever. Well done. Should we go for a little wonder wonder? Stop licking. Stop all of Walk on, darling. Good girl. Well done. Yeah, she is doing a lot with her mouth, but it's quite common for babies. They like to play around with a bit and process things a bit with their mouth. So hopefully yeah. this time next year we won't have all of the uh, lickiness. <laughs> well, it does. It is a lot to get used to having a bit in your mouth, yeah, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. It's all so new for them. And she is only a real baby. Good girl. Well, that horse in the field is Sparko. <laughs> Enjoying the sun. Advanced movements already. Yeah, we'll do a bit of yeah, and massage yeah. in a minute. Good girl. I always have like a real defense position when I want to just chill out. Good. I always get on and go like. <laughs> oh, now we're solo. Yeah, I'm off the lead rain. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I've graduated. After 19 years. <laughs> She's really sweet. She always, almost, almost always stops with her little front feet square. Aww. That's what we like. We want in the dressage ring. Do a nice tight turn here, south round. Little, little serpentine, maybe. Jump off turns. Oh, <laughs> nearly sorted. <laughs> She's I'm quite big, quite long. Oh, come on. Good girl. <laughs> See that little tongue? I know, I keep seeing it in the shadow, it's really funny. I hope she stops doing that cross country because she'll soon have half a tongue. <laughs> you bite it off, won't you, Sal? Good girl. 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 Well done. Done. Trot, trot. Good girl. Good girl. And whoa. Well done. Ooh. This was Sally's first trip out into the big wide world with us. Height, those two. Yeah, they are. She'll end up bigger than Jack. I can't get those Very interested in them.
tired now. Woo. Oh, nice, house, how? Are you a cute little pony? No, no. <laughs> Milton, is that you? <laughs> okay. Go on, Sally, fly. Nice. <laughs> Woo, Sally! Your feet left the ground. Well done. Woo! Go on, Sal. Go on, Sal. Oh, we've lost it again. <laughs> Run! Go on, Sal! <laughs> okay, so a bit of a Sally update. She is trotting around behind me with Becky. There she is. So we've had her, we think, about three weeks now. We've just been doing little bits in the school like this. She always starts off on the lunge just to make sure because she's not been ridden every day, obviously, because she's only three. And we've hacked her out a few times. She's gonna go for a hack today, actually. We're gonna take Bear and Jam out with her. But she's been an absolute sweetie. Where are you? Oh, can't find her. I should probably turn the camera around the other way. That'd be smart. It's a nice day. She just looks like a shadow trotting around. <laughs> Sally. So yeah, we're just focusing on getting her forward really, obviously not worrying at all where her head is because she's such a baby. So forward and just happy with the rider on. We've been patting her all over her bum and everything, get her used to weight changing. You like her, don't you, Becky? I do. <laughs> Sal, Sal. Lovely girl. Becky's on her first hack with Sally. Hi. How are you finding it? Very well. Very nice. You look terrified, those short, short reins. <laughs> God, she's such a wild three year old. Oh, Sally, you're a good pony. And obviously, we've got the five year old as the nanny. And the nine-year-old at the back being yeah, led the by the team. <laughs> yes, yeah, very important. Yeah, the traffic is just wild. Good pony. <laughs> Quick Sally update while we're off-road. This is her last little hack of 2019. Yeah. Um, and then she's going to be turned away. She's going to go to Becky's bit of land just to mainly live out and come in a bit for the bad weather. She's been very, very good. She's been a pleasure to do, haven't you, Sal? Yeah. We've not done a lot. She's just done bits That's of hacking and tiny bit in the school, but no like schooling or anything. So yeah. I just think at three, it's more important getting them forwards and out seeing the world rather than drilling them in the school and getting their heads in so yeah just being a little couple of poodles around the countryside hasn't she yeah she's enjoyed yeah she's been really really good she's nice and quiet shouldn't jinx myself while i'm riding her one-handed but yes very happy with this purchase and hopefully yeah. we'll be getting some uh, nice ones at the welsh sales in a couple of weeks some more friends for you, Sal Sal. Well, Welsh you, Sally. Hey. Thank you.
Sally, get up! Sally! Sally, Sally, Sally! Sally. Come on! Rise and shine! Woo, woo, woo! Not today! Right, we physically cannot get Sally up to ride her, so we're attempting this method. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> She's like, nah, not working. Oh, good girl! Come on then! Oh, nice! Nice! Well done! enjoyed some of the Sally clips. As you can see, she is green as grass. She's really, you know, she's, she's probably been ridden like 15 times now in her life, maybe even less actually, probably less because you've not been ridden every day. So like I said, three-year-olds, I don't like personally doing loads and loads with them, especially her, even though she's quite big, she's actually quite weak. It can be very, very deceiving. People will think like, oh, they're really big, they're strong enough to do loads, but they're really not, like their backs are not nearly properly developed at this point, like their skeletal system just isn't developed. So I don't want to do too much, I don't want to push her. So she's gonna enjoy a holiday, probably until February, March time, sort of depending on how many other horses I have of my own to do, and I've got quite a few people sending me horses to do. So see how time goes. And obviously I want to wait till the weather's good to bring her back. And then we're going to do some competing and some more training. We'll start the schooling, won't we, when you're four? So I'll see you inside to go through the catalogue now. Um, but thank you for watching and see you very soon. And you'll see lovely Sally next year. There'll still be pictures of her on my Instagram though. Good girl. Say bye, Labracob. You're so cute. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I quite like that. I look like a Whoville. <laughs> what are you drinking? Is that a vitamin drink? Here's a vitamin drink. Nice and healthy. Okay, so as you were... Hello again. Right, you're balancing on the Nutella. I need the glass. Are the makes available? No. <laughs> There are other chocolate spreads that you can enjoy at home. So this vlog wasn't just a Sally update. We've done that, hopefully. Is this, Where's your little is this a sick joke? So we are also preparing for the Welsh sales, which is happening in a couple of weeks, less than a couple of weeks. Less than a couple of weeks. So we're going to go through the catalogue, not necessarily with you guys, because, you know, I don't want to tell everyone what we're interested in. I am so angry. Right, we're going to have it at a low angle. How about the truffle box? No, we'll have it at that angle, which is okay. slightly less flattering. But it's all right. Mm. So yeah, we're going to go through, we're going to colour code ones that we're interested in, ones we're not interested in. Uh, I mean, that's all we really care about. Um, we'll mark down the ones that are broken. Just gives us, like when you're there on the day, it just makes it a lot easier to have a clear idea of what There's lots so you want to horses. see. Yeah. You get a bit overwhelmed. And then we'll note down all the numbers. Good idea. In the order that you need to go and see them, because obviously the ones that are early, 
I'm going to go and see them first. So do you have some marker pens? I did have those colourful highlighters. That's what we need. I don't know what I've done with them. Oh, well, we might have to have a pause. Um, so the other thing is, obviously this is going to go out before we actually go to the sales. So because the Sally Welsh sale was such a big hit, that vlog, um, I wanted to ask you guys what exactly you want to see in this next vlog. So we're going for two days. We're going for the Friday, staying over, and then going for the yeah. Saturday because it's a three-day sale. Becky is nice coming with us, that. but she was actually ill today, so she hasn't been able to come to the marking party, which is sad. <laughs> but yeah, comment below what you want to see. Like, do you want to see more of the other horses? Like, just, you know, where we go and view them. Do you want to see more lots going through the ring, even if we don't necessarily buy them? Do you want to see like how we check out the horses? Obviously, like we're limited mm -hmm. as to what we can show because yeah, I don't want to film loads of other people's them. horses. Walking, trotting. Yeah, out, it's you? a much bigger sale this one we're going to mm -hmm. than the Hereford one. There's, yeah. I mean, how many lots are there? Not as many. Five hundred. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's like five hundred odd lots and a few like supplementary ones. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just comment what you want to see. Give me ideas. We'll see what we'll, we can do. Obviously, I'll be uh, filming the sleepover. That'll be fun. We're staying in a nice B&B, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah. By a river, apparently. In By Blue Wells. You should have given the location. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go through this. Ideally, we're thinking four or five-year-olds, aren't we? Mm. And we'll look out for nice breeding that we recognise. Yeah. Super. But you never really know until you get there. You can mark something down and think it's going to be really nice yeah, and then it's horrible. And, you get there. and then vice versa. Good. Well, why don't you go and get some mark pens and then we'll have a little... Um, you go and get some mark look pens. Through. Okay, we've decided we will show you a bit of catalogue <laughs> browsing. It's very exciting. Because mum, mum was like, people might want to see. And do you know what? I think she might have been right this time. So it's fun. Do you want me to read something out to you? <laughs> I can't answer you. So, look, I'm... Oh, Whoa, sneaky! <laughs> I'm writing down the potential numbers on here, so we have a bit of paper. Yeah. Obviously, we've got the full description in the catalogue. What was that last one, Mum? What number was that? Twelve. Last one was <laughs> Twelve. Secret number. Twenty-four. <laughs> it's like code for one hundred and eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the next one is twenty-five. <laughs> Shh. And what about um? Are these the ones that are the same? No, tell me you ought to tell us how to pronounce that, because that's... Cool. I think it is just Sangrog. Eddie the Eagle, I like that name. It's a good name, isn't it? Now, he's not broken. He's 14-1, approximately. Oh, that was small. Born in 2015. Um, Eddie is another unspoilt gelding, ready to start his ridden career. Um, oh, his sire... Oh, I can't pronounce that. Qualified for Hoys last year. Mm. Uh, he'd probably be quite smart. Well, I'll put him down as a potential. Yeah. But he's so, not broken. He's not broken. Are any of these broken? Um, the yeah, first those one. Two's oh, broken. they're both broken. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Broken. They're, they're a possibility. Possibility. So. 26. So, Shall I put 26? Only very cheap. Because yeah, we don't he really want he an looks, unbroken. He looks very well bred. And we should say, actually, can you remember what the deal is? That Friday has got heartbreads mm. and a lot of geldings yeah whereas the other days it tends to be more and we're more mare people yeah that's true i've got a nice mare that's written true. down here that i quite like the look of i think could be a potential event mare she's a welsh heartbred yeah this one you that's secret know, one there <laughs> secret <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll all be coming to the sale just yeah, to, I know. to watch what we're bidding on don't blame me why's that got a question mark by it um, chestnut gelding four-year-old gelding well grown with plenty of substance is he broken no nah no see ya no. we've got to be sensible we've not got space yeah. for loads of unbroken ones no that's true oh, sally's filled that space that's true she is broken but she's very young. no but that's what i mean like the young um now i think we've seen this one i think we've seen some pictures of him on facebook and he does see the really chunky look... one no 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 he looks very smart. He's part bred. He's Welsh part bred. Mm -hmm. um, so he will be he'll be worth going to have a look at. What is he? A four he's year old, fifteen one, fifteen hands. He's done a lot though. He's going to be quite an expensive one, I think. He's um, he's been to all the Welsh shows mm -hmm. and um, been shown in hand. So I'm sure he'll be very nice. What colour is he? Bay. Bay. Yeah. Now gelded and broken to rise. It's hard to gauge how much 
they're going to go for. Yeah, we've just got no idea really. No. Have we? But often nice, nice um, waters of. If they're ridden you know, into the ring, they go for a lot more. Yeah. Even, like sometimes they're not even properly broken, but they just get ridden in anyway. Yeah, and then but, people bid more. Yeah, no, I think he'll be he'll be a lot actually, but I'd be very interested to see him. I'm sure, he'll go to a lovely home. You can, uh, maybe you somebody that you know and keep in touch with them. Watch his progress. <laughs> um, oh, you're so slow at this. Come on, mum. Fourteen uh, something. I don't even say how big he is. Four no, year old girl. Not broken. Thing. Not broken. No. See ya. Black, Six four white tight. socks, gelding, three-year-old. See ya. Not broken. Palomino gelding, three-year-old. Bye. I think that's quite a nice stallion, that Junton Lightning. He'll go for a lot, a Palomino gelding. Yeah. Oh, look, another one. Palomino. Oh, that belongs to um, Nesta Owen. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, that would be... <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another one. Not broken. Oh, Jumped and missed a fox. Yeah, we're not really feeling a three-year-old unbroken, although, although there is one I've got my eye on. Now, do you know how to pronounce that? Because that breeds. Yeah, no, I can pronounce that. No problem. <laughs> That's <laughs> Mei Mani Hanecha. That one. They're nice. Mei Samane. Nice. And I think they they command big, them. big. But that's not broken three-year-old filly. Oh wait, but what kind of is she? Bay. Okay. okay. I like bays. Yeah, I quite like bays. Okay, right. Piebald filly. filly. Nah, we've seen three. a picture of that. It's too heavy. No, that wasn't that one. Oh, that well, was one of still the no. Ones. We've just said no three-year-olds. It doesn't matter. Right, okay. TB cross Welsh, but only three. T? Yeah, but... It's all right being three when she's interested. To make 15 too. That could be a potential eventer. What's that? <laughs> That's already 14. Put a box around it. She's so bossy. Right, shown in hand as a thoroughbred cross Welsh. Thank you. And it's a mare. Right, this one. Um, Welsh. Can't be spelled Welsh. This is cross another part for it, I think. B. Anyone looking for a performance horse? Look no further. Adele is a big, outstanding oh. mare with a lovely temperament. And All a great her brother's sisters are champions, and I'm sure she will be too. She's 16 hands. Is she part bred? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she might be too big. Too big. Yeah. Well, don't put a, put a star. Don't give her a box, but give her a little, just a little something, something. Oh, she's only three. Yeah, she's oh, 16 yeah, no. hands. I mean, that's get rid, big. get rid. That's a shame because she sounds lovely. Anybody who's after a big horse. Anyone who wants a horse called Adele. And her half-sister, Penstrumbly Gone Dancing. That's a nice name. That's a really nice name. Another 16 um, and a three-year-old. Yeah. I'd, I'd be interested in just looking at them. Just to get an idea. Yeah, they're going to be big, aren't they? Big, big, too big. Chestnut gelding, three-year-old, sire. I don't recognise any of that breeding. Synod. Bye, Felicia. Oh, I've seen it. I've come across it. Three-year-old gelding, 14, three. He's only three. Don't recognise that breeding. See you later. Just because you don't recognise doesn't mean they're not brilliant. We don't want another three-year-old unless no, it's the nice probably. Welsh thoroughbred <laughs> one. Done, a chocolate done, Ooh. a chocolate done, gelding, three, three. Year old, 14, 14 two. two, well built, strong gelding. That often means they are absolute tanks, chunky, large, and in charge. Well, so, let's go star. We need a little star. star. We're not going by our rule. We literally said about two minutes ago, mm -hmm. no three year olds. Yeah. And then if it's done, yeah. more nice sounding. Yeah. Right, this is only two, so that's definitely no. Oh my god, we've been for seven minutes, right? That's probably enough. Yeah, that's enough catalogue perusing for, for now. See you later. But yeah, we're going to continue. Look, I'll yeah. show you what the catalogue's like. There's quite a lot of pages. Oh, also, look, you get little pictures. Oh, yes. Which are nice. So not of all of them, obviously, but like Just a few. Some of the main ones. Oh, that's nice. But there, is that Idris? Yeah, that's Idris. Oh, he We've is We've seen him on lovely. Facebook. He's so cute. He's like 16 hands, full Welsh, massive, gentle he is giant. gorgeous. But I he'll really go for a lot of money. Him. We'll try and film him. Yeah. He'll. Put, I think he'll be he's a very high lot. Oh, look, Other the little nice ones. Dance. Oh, yeah, she's nice. We've seen her. See, if you can come to the Welsh service, you should come. Mum. No. <laughs> oh, oh, look. So, yeah. We're going that way. You get to see a couple of them. I really like that. Yeah. Really like, and we know that Degler 
We've heard them from met yeah. a few of those horses, haven't we? Ah, so good. Anyway, it's going to be exciting. So, like I said earlier, comment below what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Just let us know how you want the vlog to go. Yeah, and we'll try and try and make it wishes. a fun one. Yeah, we'll try not to argue too much. I wonder if we will buy any of the ones we've marked down already. Exciting times. Yeah. So we will see you bright and early on the Friday the first. Friday the 1st wow. of November. Yeah. Excited. Yeah, very exciting. Thank you for watching. See you soon. You stop it then. <laughs>